So, you know, as we think about the companies that are maybe trying to kind of advance in this area or move forward in this area, what are maybe some of the challenges that they're likely to face, the pitfalls they're likely to encounter? I mean, what should they be watching out for? Yeah, so the uh, challenges I'd say are consistent year to year. Uh, some haven't gone away. I've seen progress in some areas, but data systems, uh, and the ability of those systems to talk to one another and for end users to be able to pull the data they need, still a very common challenge. A lot of the, uh, the data governance piece of this is still pretty weak in a lot of cases where you know, people disagree on how to define something or they have it sitting in different systems with different definitions and you go to try to pull reports together and uh, it's very challenging. So I think data quality, data access, data accuracy is a theme that comes up again and again, and it was there at the start. On the flip side, some things that were discussed as kind of pain points early on are now we're seeing a lot more progress in it. One would be just having data on your people, right? I'd say 10 years ago, it was sort of the basics. You know, you could look at historical information on employees. You might have some supplementary data from other systems. Now it's uh, almost like a proliferation of data where uh, organizations and workforce analytics groups are saying, okay, we've got all this, what do we do with it? And uh, so it's a different problem than we saw before. It's we have a lot of data and now where do we make the most of it? So um, I, I think that's another you know, area where we've seen some uh, changes in development over time. And how have you seen maybe companies sort through that issue, right? We have all this data that's out there. How do we start to sift through it or, or make some choices about what we're going to really focus on or measure? Uh, have you seen yeah. companies kind of uh, wrestle with that? Yeah, I mean, I think it takes a lot of discipline to um, make sense of that kind of situation. So if it's a centralized workforce analytics team with very specific business challenges, they can start to hone in on what the problem or opportunity is, think about their available data, maybe even collect new data sources. So when it's an analytics type of project, I think you get more uh, opportunity to be um, you know, purposeful in how you're sifting through the da different data sources you have. The flip side on the you know, more ad hoc reporting and um, just trying to make sense of what you have, I think that's where a lot of the confusion comes up because you have so much information. Some of it's duplicative, some of it's uh, irrelevant, right? And for the average end user or HR professional, I think it's challenging really to make sense of what's useful, what's not useful amongst all the data that mm -hmm. we're collecting. Yeah.